All right, so we got senior kicker Freddie Cortez with us with 10 questions with the Flashes football player. So, Freddie, uh, it's hot out here. How do you uh, manage to keep yourself cool during this? Uh... You're used to it, though. You're from Florida, so. Yes, sir. Well, well, like you said, I'm from Florida, so I'm kind of used to the heat. And, you know, I'm a kicker, so we don't do much. So I do my 10 minutes of practice and warm-ups and kicking with the team. And then, you know, the sweat dries up. And the heat doesn't really bother me as much. And being from Florida, like you said, it's just comes, it's like secondhand nature to me. It's, I'm just used to it. And I actually like the heat, unlike other people. So it gives, well, me, a, gives me a good little tan. <laughs> you are practicing with kind of the heat on you, trying to get on the field and get in position and be able to make a kick in a high-pressure situation. Can you talk about that? Yes, sir. Um, you know, there's kind of, it doesn't happen very often, but, you know, every time, every rarely, you know, a team, Probably, you know, runs out of timeout and, you know, gets a chance to go downfield and kick a field goal. And what I'm doing there is just, you know, just in case we run into that situation, I'll be uh, I'll be able to keep my composure and know, you know, try to, I guess, estimate where how far I should be in order to, you know, make the field goal depending on what angle and, you know, how close and far we are. So all of this is just, you know, practicing and, you know, just in case we ever get put in a situation like that. If I make it, I can say it's due to the fact that I work on it, usually after practice and before practice. And if I miss it, I need to stay out there a little longer. <laughs> Let's talk about, you know, what led you to becoming a kicker? Did you, know, did you start out in soccer and then make the transition over? Or is it something you always wanted to do? Uh, I always played, I played soccer my whole life growing up, and my whole family did, actually. And um, it all started off with my brother. He, uh, in the 10th grade, he... Um, they asked him to try out for the football team, and he did. And you know, he was a pretty good kicker. Tried out, and ended up making it to a Division One college. And then ever since after that, I had dreams of being a, a receiver or something, you know, something cool, something like <laughs> people like. But uh, our high school coaches had something else planned, and that was to be a kicker no matter what. And even growing up, going through high school, they you know they said you're ready to become kick for us, and there was no talking them out of it. So you know, it's not it's not what I wanted to do, but. I, I grew to love it, and you know, as 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 I as I grew into it and got a little better at it, better at it, it just became a love of mine. And one of my probably my favorite hobby to do, just to come out and kick. You know, whether it's to relieve stress or just get a little better that day, it's just one of my things I love doing now. Can you talk about where the team's at right now, and how do you feel about your your shot at getting to uh, Detroit this year and winning the championship? Um, from previous years, you know, when I first came in, I thought. And I thought we were good. You know, I came from a small high school, so I, the game was quicker, the people were bigger, so I thought everything was good. But once I, I guess you could say, I became a student of the game, I like I was learning, you know, learning what how you know how the system works and how everything goes and how other teams go. Then, you know, I, I finally realized where we were at. And I mean, from from the point to where I realized where we're at to where we're at now, I mean, we made some strides. And the new coaching staff came in here and did a wonderful job with the guys. And you know, the guys never skipped the beat. They uh, picked up right where the other coaches left off. And added a few more things and um, it looks like they like it you know the defense is just as good as they were two years three years ago when I came in and the offense is a little sharper than, than what it was when we came in and we're bringing back a lot of experience and a lot of leadership on the offensive side of the ball and our lines should be good and you know it all starts up front so the big boys look good so I know they're going to work their butts off this year and I mean then Spencer or whoever the quarterback is is going to uh, do a wonderful job uh, helping us get us to the promised land. Future and what you want to do after college. Uh, what are your plans? Do you have anything uh, you got in mind right now for when you're done here at Kent State? I, uh, I mean, of course, I mean, I've been training for my, about, about eight, eight years already for this. So, I mean, uh, I'm going to definitely try out when Pro Day comes just to see what it happens. It's, it's not my plan A. It's definitely my plan B. My plan A is uh, I've been talking to different companies, you know, trying to get a – trying to get an internship as soon as I get out of college if football doesn't work out and um, hopefully one day become a I mean I'm gonna I want to work in sales but hopefully one day work my way out to become a pharmaceutical salesman and um, hopefully stationed in Florida uh, that would be nice to be by the family but if not I would go anywhere for it so I mean like I said if plan B doesn't work for me you know I'm happy with what I've done I'm happy with where I've made it and um, I know I've made myself proud I've made my family proud so if plan B doesn't work then it's uh, plan A and becoming you know, getting a job and starting my career somewhere. It's the best part of being a student athlete here. Just, I mean, besides being an athlete, just, I mean, just being a student altogether because uh, I sometimes feel like some of the students, some of the student athletes around here try to put themselves put themselves on a pedestal. But really, I mean, aside from football and aside from all that, we're, you know, we're just students, you know, just out here having fun, you know, joking around. Nothing always has to be always serious with football. And, you know, I know 
I know we came here for football and they asked to be able to be serious about it. But at the same time, you know, we're just 18 to 22 year olds, just still trying to live our lives and just like everything. So I mean, being a when we put when we go home and put football aside, it's just we're just ordinary people. You know, we got the same problems everybody else has, and I mean, and just growing, having a family, all these 105, 115 guys that we have. It's uh, I have a big family back at home, but this has made it a little bigger. And you know, I'm always having that guy to go to, you know, that friend, and you know, just hopefully, you know, keeping them friends after we graduate and see how long we keep in, keep in touch with them. I'm a hub type guy. I usually go get my subway, my five, my 12 inch sub. Sometimes, you know, my bacon. I gotta have my bacon. But either either the hub or uh, I'd say I'd say the arc. I'd like to. I mean, I know we shouldn't be playing around in there, but. There's usually a bunch of guys in there, and we tend to tend to break the rules a little bit. We bend them, don't break them. So I mean, I guess we're still in good hands. We just we just like to have fun. And what's your plan of attack? Uh, like an hour before the game time. Well, uh, you know me, I'm I'm a chill guy. You know, I just I like to have my fun. I like to chill. I'm not much of a get hype type guy. I listen to my I listen to my country music. You know, my my slow songs. My my you know I'll, I'm a big country fan. So. I, Listen to a lot of country music just to relax me and uh, stay focused, man. So basically, because we know as kickers, you know, a lot of kickers are head cases. We don't need to be out there jumping around, hooping and hollering. We just gotta, you know, stay within ourselves and keep calm and just stay relaxed the whole game. Because, you know, you never know if it's gonna come down to us or if a kick, one of our kicks early in the game is gonna be the difference maker. So we try. I just try to stay cool, stay relaxed, and country music does that for me. So I do that, and I usually, you know, I have some superstitions, not many, just some. Very minor ones, but I try to do those every time before a game and just go out and have fun, basically. So you're a country music guy. Who's your favorite artist, or do you have like a couple that you like to? George Strait, all George right. George Strait, he's the king, King George. Can't beat that. Nah, definitely. You could give a freshman on the team a piece of advice that you know, you'd hope they carry with them all four years here. What would you tell them? Just like my older brother told me before I left, you know, Philippians 4.13, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And I, I'm a firm believer of that, and I know whenever I'm down, I just go to that Bible verse, and I mean, it might not fix the situation at the time, but I know if I just keep my faith and, you know, obey and listen and do what I have to do, you know, God will fix things, whether it's, I just have to be patient, you know, it's not going to be done when I want it to be done, but it's just going to be done through His time, and, you know, just got to have, you know, trust Him and have faith, and I mean, live life to the fullest, and just... I don't know, just always keep your faith because uh, at the end of the day, he's the one getting you through your day and waking you up the next day. So I mean, that's probably the best advice I get somebody. All right, thanks a lot, Freddie, and good luck this year. Yes, sir.